some things haven't changed. Literally, the LA rebellion happened while we were filming the show, which is in response to Rodney King being beaten on videotape, you know, over 80 times. And here we are filming the show now in the middle of Black Lives Matter after what happened to people like Breonna Taylor and George Floyd. It was so many things happening politically while we filmed this time around. It was crazy. The insurrection was happening while we were there. The impeachment. Trump to the very end fighting against the justifiable results of that election. As much as things have changed in America, a lot of things have not changed, but we've changed. Most of us anyway have changed. And so the conversations for me about race and racism with my castmates were very different than the first time. How many people can say that they have 13 weeks of their life on camera somewhere at that age? You know, not many people can say that. So sitting there watching some of the things that came out of everybody's mouth, at that age, you had to cringe. Some of it was like, oh, you know what? You shouldn't have said that, <laughs> you know? Or why I had that on? That's what I was thinking the most time. What? Why did they put that on? <laughs> you know, but you, you have to look at yourself sometimes and know where you were wrong, know where you made a mistake. And I think this, doing this reunion and this homecoming was an opportunity to correct some things. It was different because, you know, I got a lot of politics from people, which was like, wow, okay. And I'm, it, I got to tell you, the responses, a lot of people have apologized on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn. I've got emails, text messages. I'm talking about white folks, white, white Americans. Like, you know, I, some said I was, I understand you, you helped to open my eyes back then. Some said I didn't understand you. I didn't like you back then. All these years later. I just know that the scales are tipped in certain people's favors and has been for a very long time. And how are you gonna say get off the black white thing when that's the reality? Racism is I'm everywhere. Not. That's my point. Should think, we mean chip on no, your shoulder? Mean it sadly takes some people to see George Floyd being kneed to death for eight minutes and 46 seconds for folks to say, oh, these black folks ain't tripping about what they've been saying about racism in America because we haven't been tripping. We've been telling the truth the whole time. We know we have. But that's what's shifted. That's what's been deep about this experience this time. You know, um, people are like, I hear you loud and clear. I never heard you before. One of the reasons why Julie and I became friends, everybody just remembers that beeper incident from 1992. Go, Heather. Go, Heather. Go, Heather. Go, Heather. What is that? It's a beeper. Wow. Do you sell drugs? Why do you have a beeper? <laughs> Once you said the bit about the drug dealer, I, I really want to talk to her. I, I really want to know what she thinks. First of all, I never thought that she was very serious. That was just her attempt to kind of like make a, a, a joke, a funny moment. But you know, it's edited, so it's like, do you sell drugs? Dun, 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 dun. You know what I mean? <laughs> what people didn't see about Julie and why we ended up being the best of friends almost 30 years later, and this is what we have to do moving forward just with people. When I don't understand something, you don't understand something, ask me, why does that bother you? What is it that I could do to help? People just got to the point they don't want to ask no questions. They don't, they just want to decide because they read a headline. They got some quick, you know, clickbait. And they, we got, we can, we got to stop doing that. We need each other. <laughs> Hello, we obviously, we need each other, you know? And so we got to ask questions. If you don't understand why I'm upset because these cops got off for killing a father. Or you don't understand why I'm upset because Breonna Taylor is dead because she went to work last night and came home to her boyfriend. And that could have been me. I wake up every day and go to work and I sleep every night by the grace of God with my husband. That could have been me. You don't understand why I'm upset? No, that, that, that can't happen. So ask me and I'll explain to you why. And then I'm gonna ask you, now put yourself in my shoes. You know, when you think about the first season, we dealt with racism, we dealt with homophobia, we dealt with homelessness. Some of the cast members went to a pro-choice rally in Washington, D.C. And so when I think back on it, I was like, those 13 episodes, we really packed a lot into a short period of time. And then when you come back to our season now and the conversations that we're having all over again. Call me a racist. Because you are. It's gonna sound, again, racist, but. And don't say it. You're missing the point of all of this. You know, I think that these are seven very unique human beings that were brought together, even though now I can see that's not really diverse because it's just white folks and black folks. What about Asian folks and Latinx folks? We kind of left that, and Native American folks are left out of the first season. But there is something about that first season of people where there's a level of thoughtfulness, even in the midst of us disagreeing on stuff and being passionate about what we believe in. I think you see that again this time around. America needed to be woken up. And it's sad that it takes the death of black women and black 
men and just our black bodies being destroyed over and over again for people to wake up. 